actually, it's it's actually kind of triggering just looking at this boss again because of how much trauma. Um, this boss is another DPS test, but so basically you just hammer on this thing on normal. It does not deal damage. Uh, the tank kind of keeps it occupied, but at certain times the boss will actually split up into smaller ads, and and they'll they're gonna come to these pillars like right here, uh, and then they'll spread across and around the roof. When she does that, um, just quickly, don't just forget about the boss, run to the ads, and quickly kill them. They do not have a ton of health on normal, so we should be fine. If an ad survives, basically what happens is uh, they blow up, and it can be an insta kill, especially on vet. Uh, exactly, boom. Like on vet, if two are still alive, the whole group is done for. If one is alive, you can still survive through it. On normal, well, we're just gonna kick the crap out of this stuff. So, um, you guys ready to go for it? Yeah. All right, tank. Whenever you're ready, you go for it. Guys, let's see this. We'll call it when the ads come out, just so you can split apart. Um, make sure that you kind of stand behind it mostly and uh, watch your feet, because there are some red dots that will appear. And there we go, kill the, the red dots. Wow, these just have there's just nothing. <laughs> Crazy. Perfect. All right, back to the boss. See, when she does that explosion right there, and if there's ads still alive, um, we're done for, basically. Yeah. Yeah. And usually every time uh, she splits apart, she will add another ad to the, uh, to the pillar, so you've just got more hassle to deal with. Execute range for those of you. Quickly kill the ads. You're doing a really great job, everybody. It's, it's awesome. I'm just burning through these bosses. And thank you, Alps and, uh, and uh, Temple, for that. No problem. Alright, let's burn this. Burn, mother trucker, burn. Oh, like a butte. Someone in the Akita. Uh, we'll quickly do a scan of this area. Sometimes there's sitting around this area. We'll do a scan here for him. Gloves are mending. Nice. I suppose, like, usually it's it's anything, uh, but. Helms and shoulders that people want for sets. Is there any reason, like, cause you know, Moss and right? Is there any, is there any reason why you're wanting the, uh, the shoulders and the helmets, uh, Miss? Well, I don't use them for sets, so I'll run five mending and then basically see and I'll switch out mending and worm triumphs to mending and worm shoulders. Oh, that's actually very smart. And I've heard a lot of effective builds actually don't even ever monster sets, which is, it's awesome to hear about that kind of variety coming. Yeah, my healer doesn't run any monster sets. I'm doing a Giuliano's uh, burning spell weaver. Okay, good, good. Yeah, for me, I use of the healer just to get the you know sheer amount of healing, and then I, I use a withered hand to uh, get extra resources back. I use five mending, five uh, spell power cure, and one earth gore on the shoulder. I know a lot of builds are starting to use earth gore and Demias one pieces just because of the escape, but uh, there's a chest on me right. Here. Yeah, some, some stuff. Right on crown. Score. Yay, I'm I'm mending. Right. Didn't someone say what it is? And so the breaking the crystal puts it into hard mode when you're playing on vet. <laughs> I don't think we ran it on hard mode. Yeah, we it's did. it's death. 
I'd like to sometime. It sounds like fun. Just, <laughs> just it's I'm death. I'm just gonna fix this so no one breaks it. <laughs> right. Now I'm gonna have both brotherhood and stake in a bowl. Someone's excited to be in the guild. That's awesome. <laughs> All right. So this is a fun one. Um, there are two phases. The first is the ad phase. We're gonna kill a ton of ads here, and after that's all been cleaned up the big mage up there is gonna drop down she actually stays stationary right in the middle of the room and is mostly a burn um the problem is the tank has to deal with uh two things not only the boss but also these axes that that kind of spawn in and these axes are really really savage like uh like tank said don't touch the chest until oh yeah after the match um so basically what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to stay away from the axes. Make sure that the tank has that, and stack behind the uh, behind the boss there. Well, what was the line? I think Al shouted out, "Stack on the butt, on the butt." So we're gonna be doing that right as the mage comes down, and you should be good to go. Now, if you see an overcharger come into the fight, kill the overcharger. Those things are really, really nasty during this fight. Um, we'll call out an overcharger. We'll say, "Stack on overcharger." We'll quickly jump on it kill it and then come back at i believe it's what 10 to 20 percent uh the boss is gonna go into this giant crazy mode and basically bring down the sun on your head so at that point focus everything you got on burning down the boss i believe that's most of the mechanics here if anybody... um, you guys ready to do this yeah. all right we were praising the sun praise it oh praise <laughs> You would say that, wouldn't you, Dark? Anyways, yep, you guys yep. ready to go? Throw shards to tank. Yes, keep the shards on tank. Keep up that sustain. Let's do this thing. Let's go. Tank always wins first. Overcharge right side. Dead. Oh, crap, that leg spike. You getting leg? Here, come along. Where's that overcharger? Right here. Overcharger's dead. There's another one somewhere. Overcharger, middle of the platform. Alright, so everybody stack up behind, right on. Alright, and basically just start DPS in this thing. There's the axes, those are things you like. Uh, make sure to throw tank and shards. Now, if overchargers come up and you do have long range, it does work quite well.
it's kind of nice when the reflections kind of come in in the AOE. Great damage, everybody. It's awesome. start knocking this all down here don't be alarmed it's not gonna kill you rather as soon as she starts doing this get up and burn her down that's annoying yep, yep. Uh, all right go for it people oh easy easy easy, easy. awesome man you guys ate great! That was so fast! Man, we got that to that so quickly. Good job, everybody. Great job. Alright. So, um, we'll open up a chest bag there. The coffer is through the, or is the coffer through the portal when you talk to the NPC again? There is a lady to talk to here. Uh, and we'll, then we can just trade everything, give up the mending stuff, stuff that you don't want. But great job, everybody! You, we burned through that. That was that was really good. Yay! I have an ending shoulder. Tell someone one of those. There we go. All right, let's all head through the portal, and then we'll uh, we'll trade up. Yep. Uh, you said we turn the quest in through the portal. Yep, through the portal here. For this lady i don't know if i hope it worked for you cindy if it didn't well i'll i have some like motifs and stuff i can give you as side treats gifts <laughs> all, right. all right uh so cindy wanted the mending right yes she does <laughs> this is a really good way to get uh transmutation crystals do you get transmute crystals through this? Yeah, the coffers. Oh, awesome. Okay. You get five each. Oh, that's awesome. I uh, I just I like the Cyrodiil, the end of Cyrodiil campaign where they give you a pop prize of fifty if you if you reach rank what is it three, you just gotta wait for that month to end and boom, you get fifty crystals like per character that got to rank three. It's awesome. Uh, does anybody want that purple ring of ending? Came from the top right now, so I can't it. Uh, I'm so sorry. Well, who wanted the uh, mending epaulets? CP 100. Oh, congrats. Awesome. Wait, you got a purple ring of mending? Yeah, the item in the coffer is always purple. Oh, that is awesome. Did you not do the quest? I did. Oh. Oh shoot! I got a I got a purple hat of mending. I guess the hat really doesn't matter because you can upgrade it anyways. But that's awesome. Celestial helmets. All right. I will trade. I'll give you the motif and stuff right afterwards. Yeah, thank you for the uh, for running everybody. That's awesome. We did that in less than 25 minutes according to my clock. That's great. That was a great job, especially for those of you that this was your uh, first trial. Good job. Alright. I think we're good to go here, and I got a trip. Alright. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to trials. <laughs> designated, designated bathroom breaks. Um, um, I like being old. Depends. <laughs> <laughs> 